Kids were busy weaving away at the Franklin Arts Center in Brainerd on Saturday. For this week's In Focus, our Mary Keeler got a closer look. I brought some examples of some weaving, very similar to what I'm doing here today. Eyes and ears were focused at the Franklin Arts Center in Brainerd for the second Saturday Flipside Arts program through the Crossing Arts Alliance, which gives kids the chance to dabble with different mediums. Today is weaving. We talk about the warp and the, and the weft of how to to weave. We've talked a little bit about the history. Alice Larson has been an instructor for three years and the shine has not worn off yet. I enjoy um, seeing the creative works of art that the kids um, come up with. I didn't practice at home before and I didn't do it before. I've been to other flip side classes. And they get free reign to use what they want to create. Some I've cleared. And some buttons maybe? And some buttons. I'm doing the style where it's, it's kind of like this, kind of the checker thing. We have different mediums of so, uh, maybe we might use cray paws, we might use paint. Today we're using string and found objects. So it's fun to see the kids use the different art mediums and see the different um, outcomes from their creative endeavors. They teach kids the right techniques, but stress there is no right or wrong way to be artistic. We give them that direction and then we go and see how they creatively come up with the projects that we have set forth in front of them. Inspiring these kids to dream big. There's no rule against art at all. Do as you want to do. Just be free with your art. Showing that the sky truly is the limit when it comes to art. In Brainerd for this week's In Focus, Mary Keeler, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.